Listen, you can become millionaires if you wanted with God. You can. It's very easy. Very, very easy. You first have to understand why he wants to make you a millionaire. You have to understand from the Bible why. Secondly, once you understand why, be at it. If all of us were crazy in love with him and understood this book, that every time I hear and I do, it is him actually walking through me. Oh, then you will do more of what you hear so that he can have an avenue to walk in you and through you. Somebody should say amen. amen. What did Abraham do? He agreed with what he had. He obeyed what he had. Please understand, the reward of Abraham's obedience was after he left, not before. Hmm? You can hear as much as you want, but if you don't do what you hear, you will never see the reward of the scriptures. Okay. I'll show you in a moment. What are we looking at? Agreeing with the word. If you agree with God's word, what is to agree? To admit, accept. Mm -hmm. To admit, to obey. Okay. So, if you agree with the word, listen, if you agree with the word, agree to what he says and do what he says, you will see the glory of God. So agreeing with the word brings or manifests his glory. Let's look from, let's start from St. Luke's gospel, chapter number one, 33. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end, right? Then said Mary unto the angel, verse 34, how shall this be seeing I don't know a man and the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee therefore also that holy thing <laughs> oh dear Jesus which shall be born of thee shall be called the son of God you know son of God means divinity and behold thy cousin uh-huh and this is the sixth month with her who was called for with God. 38, read, one to go. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. As soon as the angel heard it, he left. As soon as the angel heard that she has received the word, the angel left. Mission accomplished. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. According to thy word, the angel departed. In other words, everything you've said, I accept. Let it happen according to what you have said. The angel said, well done, Mary, and left. The word will never profit you until you receive it. The word will never profit you until you agree with it and say, Father, what your word says is what I agree. I say what the word says. Thank you. God says, aha, somebody's ready to see my glory. Let's move on. You're ready. Jump to verse number 45. One to go. And blessed is she that believed. Who was talking? Elizabeth now, filled with the Holy Spirit, is speaking. He said, blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. As soon as you believe, God performs it. 
He says, blessed Mary, you are blessed. You received what God said through the angel. You are blessed. There shall be a performance of those things which you were told. If she refused, or listen, if she decided not to believe, she wouldn't have seen it. This is very simple. Yet when we listen to God's word, we want to reason it. We want to scrutinize it. We, want, we ask <laughs> Questions that we're not supposed to ask questions. Listen, Abraham is called the father of faith. You know why? God told him leave. He never asked why. He never asked where. He just left. Then God comes to him and says, give your only son. The Bible says, and God tempted Abraham. The word tempt there means to test so that you can approve if something is genuine. God tested Abraham and said, give your only beloved son. The Bible says, Abraham woke up the next day early in the morning and went. The problem with Christians is this. Number one, we don't want to be told by God what to do. And if he tells us, we want to give him conditions. Abraham never asked questions. Abraham just obeyed God. No wonder he's called the father of faith. And we are called the descendants of Abraham. And we verse 45. Let's read again. And blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Amplified. And blessed, happy to be envied, is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of the things that were spoken to her from the Lord. Anyone who believes the word, there shall be a performance of what the word says in their lives. If you don't believe, you will not see. So you can belong to a church like this. If you don't do what we are teaching you, brother, it doesn't matter how many times you, you will never see a performance or a fulfillment or a manifestation of what you hear because the manifest, manifestation happens to the doers only. Manifestation shows up in the lives of those who do the word. There shall be a fulfillment of those things that he has said to you. What has God said to you? He has said many things to you. Many things in the scriptures, many things. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I receive it. I believe it. He says, once you believe, there shall be a performance of those things. In other words, God will make sure, because you've believed, there's a wall of fire around you. Nothing will ever penetrate. Your faith activates the power of the promise. Look at Luke chapter 11 verse 28. Amplified. But he said, Jesus, blessed, happy and to be. Listen, blessed means. You understand what it means? It means people look at your life and envy you because of the blessing. But the blessing is not automatic. It is tied to your obedience. Blessed. Happy to be envied. Rather are those who do what? Talk to me. Hear the word of God and obey and practice it. The blessing is activated over those that hear and practice what they hear. Luke chapter 8 verse 21. Let's speak it from verse 19. Then Jesus' mother and his brothers came along toward him, but they could not get to where he was because of the crowd. I mean, Jesus was busy preaching. And the mother of Jesus came to one of those, you know, maybe revival meetings, I don't know. And he, she could not talk to the son. Oh, I want to talk to my son. No, you can't talk to him. He's very far. He's busy. He said, what do you mean? He's my son. Yes, he's your son, but he's preaching. And it was told him, ha, they told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to have an interview with you. They want to talk to you. Kai, if it was today and I said no, they would say, you see, no, this is Jesus. The mother and his brothers have come. They want to talk to him, but the man is preaching. He says, no, I'm preaching. If it was today, my mom 
and my family and my uncles all lined up to say, we want to see, we want to see, I want to see my son and we want to see our nephew. And I said, no, until I finish the conference, they'll be offended. Next verse. He answered them, my mother and my brothers are those who listen to the word of God and do it. Those are the guys Jesus considered, considers family. So you can say I'm born again. You can say what you want. If you're not a doer, he doesn't consider you a family. That's why he says in the last day, you say, but I did, but I did. You say, I never knew you. John 13 verse 17. If you know these things, you see, first you have to know them. How do you know them? You can't know them until you hear them. How do you hear them? You can't hear them unless the preacher is preaching or unless you read them. If you know these things, blessed to be envied are ye if you do them. Let me ask you a question. If doing the scriptures will cause people to envy me, what is that they will see to envy me? The blessing. They will see your life progressing and they will envy it. Isaac was envied by the Philistines. Why? Because the man was blessed. Look at your name and say, I agree with the word. Believe the word. And do the word. Practice the word. You will see the performance of what the word says. That's why God, listen, was bold to say, my word will never return unto me void. It must accomplish that which I sent it to do. He was bold. He says, I watch over my word to perform it. So he performs it the moment you believe it and begin to practice it. It is performed over your life. So there are many Christians that will struggle through life, beg through life, be poor through life. No promotion through life. Yet he says promotion comes from me. You know why? Because they have refused to receive and to do what the word says. Let's go to Leviticus 9.6. And Moses said, this is the thing which the Lord commanded that you shall do. And the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. This is what God has said. If you do, the glory of God shall appear. Jump to verse 23. Did the glory appear? And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. As soon as they did what God said, his glory was with them. <laughs> it's easy to succeed with God. Just do what he tells you to do. All right? John chapter 2. Let me show you another illustration in John chapter number 2. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Next verse. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Mm -hmm. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, they have no wine. Four, read. Jesus said unto her, woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. Verse number five. His mother, pay attention, saith unto the servants, whatsoever he says unto you, doubt, ask questions, ask for more clarifications. What does he clarify? He told Abraham, leave, go to a place I will show you. Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. So let's see what did he tell them to do. Six. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews containing two or three. Seven. Jesus said unto him, unto them. He now gave them an instruction. Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said fill. He didn't say put a half. He said fill. They did that. Next verse. And he said unto them, draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bore. Now hear me. It required faith for these guys. Because they know it is water. They are the ones who fetched the water and poured inside. <laughs> now Jesus is saying, draw from where you poured. Take to the governor. Hiya. 
He said, this is water. But let me tell you, those men had faith. They had faith. God may tell you something that doesn't make sense. But if he said it, trust him all the way. I said, trust him all the way. In between before, something will show up. Hallelujah. Oh, this is first fruits month. There are people who are scared. Oh, what will I do? January. Ah. The Bible says if you're scared, God's love has not matured in you. If God's love has matured in you, I no one's scared. <laughs> Glory to God. He said unto them, This guy, can you imagine? Oh, imagine you're the one sent by Jesus. So draw water and fill these water pots. Make sure they are the brim. Okay, you're finished. Okay. Can you draw that and take to your governor? Ah. They say, but the mother said, whatsoever he tells us to do, let's do it. And they went, you give the governor. Ha. No, but anyway, even if there is a problem, Jesus will answer. <laughs> And the governor takes it. They're saying, oh God. Oh. Then the governor said, mm. they said, what? <laughs> what? You have no idea what God can do with your finances if you can just believe him. You have no idea how God can change your life. You have no idea. Your greatest enemy is your head. Sense. Reason. It doesn't make reason, sense, facts. When the ruler, uh, you read for yourself. <laughs> he did not know where it was from. But the servants which drew the water knew. The governor of the feast called the bridegroom, come here. And said unto him, every man in the beginning does set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. Eleven. This beginning of miracles. Question. What did Jesus do? It says beginning of miracles. Did Jesus do a miracle? Je what did Jesus do? Jesus was just simply instructing them what to do. When they did it, the miracle was performed. It's the same thing with Abraham. When you receive the word and do what the word says, just like Mary, there shall be a performance of those things. I will never be defeated in my life. Never. 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 We will never be small. I said we are growing in leaps and bounds. Financially, spiritually, all round in the name of Jesus. And there's nothing the devil can do. There's nothing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Even if they was, there's nothing they can do. Nobody can stop my progress. My progress, he says, shall appear to all. Look, this beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his. And his disciples believed on. Ah. Genesis 22. All right, so we will read verse number one. And it came to pass after these things that God did test, is the right word, test Abraham. Now, I want to say this as I'm moving along, that Satan also tests and God tests. But Satan's test is designed to destroy you. God's test is designed to see your faithfulness. They are not the same. So God will never tempt you with immorality. Satan will. God tested Abraham. What did he tell him? He said, read, want to go. Behold, Abraham, and he said, behold, here I am. Abraham answered, verse 2. Let's read quickly. And he said, take now your son. Your only son, Isaac. It's like saying, take that business now that you have labored. And give it to that one. Take now your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. 
And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his donkeys and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and cleft the wood and burnt offering and rose up and went into the place which God had told him. Next verse. Let's read. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of Aro five. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide here with the us and I and the lad will go yonder. Say yonder. From today use yonder. Don't say I'm going far. Just say I'm going yonder. You sound spiritual. <laughs> And worship and come again to you at Unendapi Yonder. <laughs> and Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. Oh, I love Abraham. Listen, I love this man, Abraham. I want to see him. I want to see Abraham when I go. You know, there are people I want to see. Paul, I must see. Abraham is another person. Look at verse 9. Let's read. And they came to the place which God had told him of. Praise God. They came to that place. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Uh -huh. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here am I. And he said, lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know. Now, leo nimejua. Abraham, you fear me. Every instruction that God gives you, he wants to prove if you honor him. He says, now I know that Abraham, now I know that you fear God, seeing that you have not withheld your son, your only son from me. Next verse. Read. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked and behold behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his own. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. 14. And Abraham called on the name of the place Jehovah Jireh. As it is say to this day in the mount of the Lord it shall be. Next verse quickly. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven and second time and said, By myself have I sworn. So this was God. Uh, by myself have I sworn, say the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, because you have done this thing. There are things if you do. God says, because you have done this thing. And has not withheld your son, your only son. <sighs> Read for yourself. <laughs> and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed, God all the time, when God told Abraham, take your son and give him, he was looking at what he is going to give Abraham. So Abraham journeyed. It was three days away. That means God gave him an opportunity to change his mind. The man said, you know the troubles you go through through life? Those opportunities for you to say, I don't want this salvation is too much. But there are people who go ahead. He says, he saw him and he said, now I know that you love me. Now I know that you fear me. And because you've done this thing, now let me tell you, in blessing you. So if Abraham never obeyed God, if Abraham asked questions, what God had in store, he will never have seen it. Every instruction carries a blessing. God said, a husband of one wife don't marry three. God knew why one. Who are my brothers and sisters? Those that hear and do. If you know these things, do them. Practice them. Luke 145 is the verse. 
We finish with that one. Luke 1 45. We're going back to the same. Luke 1 45. And blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Are you ready to pray? Praise God. God is faithful. God is not a liar. God can be trusted. There shall be a performance of those things that he has said in his word to us. Say amen. amen. Now hear me. The truth of the matter is this. In Christ Jesus, everything has been performed. Now you are to receive only. You see, those, these guys were not born again. Now that we are born again, Christ has come. Every promise has been fulfilled. All we need to do is receive. Hi, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you very, very much for watching today's broadcast. And I sincerely hope you have been blessed, inspired, and even challenged by today's broadcast. I also want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all my friends and partners for your financial support. You have made it possible for us to air this broadcast and reach many people. Thank you from my heart. Until next time, same place, same time, I am Pastor Moffat, and Jesus is Lord.